Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today I'm going to read Sloth Slept On, and it is by Fran Preston Gannon. She writes lots of good children's books, and she lives in London. The artwork that she did for this book is actually cut paper collage. I like how she puts information about sloths in here for us to learn, because good readers are always asking themselves questions. And I hope you get some of your questions answered as you read this good book. Do you already know anything about sloths? Good. I would agree. When I think of sloths, I think of slowness. All right, so let's see if we can learn some more about sloths. Sloth slept on. He wasn't like any other creature we had ever found in the backyard. We asked him his name. We asked what he was doing up in our tree, but there was no answer. He was asleep. Look at the sign. Missing. Please return to the zoo. Keep an eye out for some of those signs. We had lots of questions. So we set off to find some answers. First, we asked Dad what he thought, but he was busy. We looked in all the books we could find. They were full of pictures and words and places and things, but there was nothing that looked like our new friend. Look at what the newspaper says. Daily news, zoo breakout. Zookeeper looks high and low for missing animal. Can you see who the missing animal is? Mm-hmm. We knew he wasn't an elephant. He didn't have a trunk. He wasn't a tiger either. He didn't have any stripes. He wasn't a horse or a bear. He let out a loud snore. He was still asleep. Perhaps he didn't belong in our backyard at all. Maybe he had traveled for a very long time from somewhere far away. Look at her, she's looking at a globe. And do you see the book that she's been reading? Hmm. Do you see that? Do you think that that's where he came from, from far away? I don't either, Mallory. Maybe he was a ferocious pirate who had been sailing the seas and was sleepy from all of his adventures. And look at the girl here with the book. She seems to be trying to get his attention. What do you think she wants to tell him? I like to ask myself questions like that while I'm reading, so I understand. He might even be a brave knight who was exhausted from spending all his time fighting dragons. Look what she's doing now. Look! He is not an elephant, or an astronaut, or a pirate, or a knight. He is an animal called a sloth. We learned that our friend usually lives in the beautiful rainforests of Central and South America. This sloth is a type called a three-toed sloth, who uses his strong grip to stay in the trees. Sloths move very very slowly. Do you see how the author stretches out the words so that you stretch them out when you say them? The sloth is a very sleepy animal. He can sleep hanging in a tree for up to 20 hours a day. Sometimes a sloth lives in the same tree in the rainforest for years at a time. 
The rainforest has all the things that a sloth likes to eat, such as leaves, fruit, twigs, and even bugs. The rainforest sounded wonderful. We decided there was only one thing to do. We found a nice big box and used all the stamps we could find. We packed him some lovely leaves to eat and toys for the journey. Uh. We were so happy the sloth had come all the way from the rainforest to visit. We would miss him lots, but we were glad that he would be waking up back where he belonged. Deep in the rainforest, the sloth finally stirred. He'd been having the most wonderful sleep. He slowly lifted his head, looked around, and said, Excuse me, which way is the zoo? Did you like that book? I really like this book. How do you think the book might have been different had the kids seen all those signs that were all around them? How would the ending be different? That's something, something to think about. I like to think about different endings for books sometimes. All right, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Jada.